Hello guys, apa kabar? I'm Jazik. I'm a singer and a vocal coach based in Warsaw, Poland. And today I'm gonna be reacting to Lara at AJL36. First of all, congratulations to Hakiem Rusli for being the second runner-up to the championship. I wanted to react to Mim P, but then I realized how much I love Lara and although it didn't win anything as far as I know, let me know, I wanted to see how the guys performed and since Hakiem Rusli is in the trio, I think it's gonna be very entertaining for both of us, I mean you and me. And if you want me to react to Mim P, just let me know and I'll do it. This is the fourth reaction to AJL36 performances of this year. And if you want more, just let me know. Before we start, make sure to subscribe to my channel for more. And let's get ready. Three, two, one, go. <laughs> Puaskah kau ku derita Puaskan denamu seketika Aku berteman lara Great dynamics and I love these endings Ah, uh, ah uh, This is actual note Somewhere here, you know? I don't remember his one, uh, I would have to rewind a couple of times, but when you do, uh, you're hitting a really low note. Although it's not how you sing low notes, it's always nice to have that for just emotional impact. And I love those dynamics. I thought that Lara's going to win. Championship, maybe, because I love the song so much and I think it's very well written. But again, vocal arrangement is great and I wasn't paying attention enough to realize that the song Pelukan Ang Kasa is so great. So the winner deserved to win, but I love Lara so much. Let's continue. <laughs> I love these little moments because it's not like he's overdoing things, but he's just playing with this melody. It's delicate yet impactful, meaningful, and it's not like going all over the place. Sometimes soul singers can go all over the place, and I love that too. But these little runs, ah, uh, it's always nice to hear. Uh, I like his voice so much. I think his voice is very, very, very recognizable and very believable too. And he doesn't have to do much vocally and it just it's just there. The emotion is in his voice. Yeah, you see, I'm realizing now that although I love this song and I love The Gentleman, it's not like I'm attacking the song, the song is written really well. It's, you know, top class producers probably in, in Malaysia and it's great, but this is a good moment to explain to you that even though you might not be a fan of the genre that SOG and Sheila Amzach came out with, you have to agree that speaking musically, it's far more developed and complicated. And this is the, you know, mixture of genres and 
a lot of different instruments and it's just whoa it's it's out of this world and the drummer was killing it so much and this one is to grab your heart it's more about the singers it's more about those lyrics the music supports the lyrics but when it comes to the winning performers song it's more of everything everything is like top major thing you know i mean those lyrics their harmonies between the two vocalists the one that was screaming and the drummers and you know all of the instruments it was so impactful and it's kind of unforgettable this one is going to be going to be unforgettable because of the great harmonies great great lyrics great vocalists doing the work together i love this song and i'm just glad to listen to it again Plus, I don't think I've reacted to a live performance of it, although I heard them rehearsing on social media and my mind was blown. I love this moment so much. Very good, very good. And I remember doing a vocal challenge for this, I think. I'm not sure. I think so. I don't know. Maybe you know. <laughs> So he went Hakim Rusli, I think. He went from a4 to G sharp 4 to B4. That's pretty high. And he was almost on his knees, pushing that breath out to have that power. Really nice. And then ended in his head voice. <laughs> AJL36 is not playing games. All of the performers are creative and very good vocalists. The songs are great. I love the song Lara, I love the harmonies there. Although comparing to all of the performances that I saw so far, the winning performance, Aina Abdul performance and Marsha Milan, I think it was very good, but they were like super great and they're like very good, if you know what I'm saying. So this is not a critique. This is me being an audience and me being a vocal coach and musician. Their harmonies were spot on. They were a little bit pitchy at times, but but with these shows, you know, you have these earplugs, so I don't blame anyone for being a little bit pitchy. I feel like the instruments overpower the vocalists at times, so maybe it is the sound system, or maybe the way they sang, I don't know. But I congratulate the gentleman. I love the song and I love the fact that you're singing it live and you're so great. The beginning was so strong and then they developed the song and reached to the climax and the idea with the water was great too, very captivating and you know, you're thinking about those lyrics and the music as well. I'm just glad that Hakim Rusli is in the show twice and he came up as the second runner up to the winner performance with his song Mimpi. I gotta say that this was super strong but the winners deserve to win. Thank you so much for watching. Share your thoughts with me. Let me know what you think about AJL36 and the judges' choice. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more, and I'll see you next time. Take care. Bye bye.